So this is a really funny lens. Check it out. It, it looks quite bizarre on my Sony a7R5. <laughs> but check out the images. Check out the bokeh. So this is TT Artisan 100mm f2.8 bubble bokeh lens. It is a remake of an old vintage lens made by a German company, Mayer Optic Görlitz. This one is extremely cheap. It's a full metal build. Up here you have aperture ring. It, it's a clickable aperture from f2.8 to f22. It, it, it does go like, I wouldn't say neither smooth or tight. Uh, it's quite satisfying. For my preference, I would probably prefer like slightly more tight, but it, that's fine. Then we have this long metal tube and that with the manual focusing ring. Obviously this lens is a manual focus lens. And when you turn uh, the manual focusing, it extends, right? So it goes longer and shorter. And then look at this. The mount of this lens, it's actually M42 screw mount, which is crazy because I have not seen any modern lenses or like modern vintage inspired lenses actually being made with a mount like this. What makes it cool, you can adapt it to any type of mount you want. So I have this M240 to Sony adapter, which is quite long. And that's why I think the lens looks even crazier with the adapter itself. But it's not about how this lens looks. It's more about the images it can produce and especially that bubble bokeh effect that you are all here for and I've seen many samples before testing out this lens myself I've seen tons of macro shots I've seen tons of like a detail shot and like kind of night city shots but since I shoot mostly people couples and portraits I wanted to test it out in actually a portrait scenario so I went for a nice autumn shoot with my personal model and yeah here are the results check it out i started shooting looking for that bubble bokeh in the wild so like in order to actually get this effect you need to look for some lights in the background and obviously as always when you shoot with uh, kind of bokeh in mind the right distance between you your subject and the background like that what creates a cool bokeh during this shoot i didn't have much direct sun so i was rather looking for trees and like light coming through the leaves creating that highlights in the background so i was kind of positioning my model in order to shoot like slightly from below to get that effect in the background and i have to say i really like the rendering of this lens. The images are really interesting. I did edit them with my new flat magic preset, which is included in my preset pack, which I feel worked really well with this autumn vibe. Just for comparison, this is raw file. This is edited with my flat magic preset, so the one that I use. And this, just for comparison, edited with my main magic Adapter preset. If you like vibrant colors, you can check out the presets down below, obviously. So the images kind of give me that vintage look of what I call impressionist look uh, so you know like a Claude Monet painting style which is very nice I do enjoy shooting like this very much the lens it's not super sharp you know it's sharp enough in the center like with the look that I'm going for it's it's fine but it's not laboratory you know sharp lens and also I was manual focusing all the time so this also is a factor of like you know not having like super sharp images all the time but just for a reference here is a studio shot so this is a sharpness in the center and this is the sharpness in the corner but if you really want to benefit from that bubble bulk effect you need a stronger light sources or like more contrast in terms of a light and the darkness so like night portraits it's where this lens it's at i think so we went for another shoot in the evening so i went to this place with the string lights in the background and what i noticed is that if i really want to get these bokeh balls like big i need to get really close to my subject so again the distance between me and the subject and the subject and the background this is what comes into play if you need the bokeh to be bigger so i was shooting really close portraits in order to see how the bokeh balls will light up and they looked spectacular I love the look of the bokeh balls, but still I was not happy with the result. So we went uh, to shoot with the street lights. So, you know, cars in the background. This is this is kind of, you know, the vibe for this lens. I feel, you know, streets in the background, night shots. So this is a couple more shots 
from the night portraits. Again, when I was getting closer to my subject, the, the bokeh balls in the background were getting bigger and bigger and like shooting from a farther distance, you know, they were not so big, but still circular and, you know, soapy. But the best part is that this lens is extremely cheap. You can get it from $155, which is like crazy insane price. So if you are looking for a unique look like this, this is a no-brainer. Just pick it up, try it out yourself. But you know, keep in mind that photos from a lens like this will not, you know, look good if you're shooting you know, your regular G Master lenses and then mix these images with uh, images like this. Like my opinion on vintage lenses that they look really great, but you need to dedicate a whole shoot you know to that look because vintage look with modern look don't go well together but that's just my opinion let me know down in the comments what is yours make sure to check out my blog post so all the samples you can actually check out at your own pace and the blog post link down below and i see you guys in the next video ciao